Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is a bit of an update on Android 12. So last time I showed you the Android sort of jumping from one foot to the other using gyros to stay stable. So it's got a number of gyros on it, um, including this one at the top and various other uh, gyros. I think there's nine gyros on it. And that seemed to work okay. And the plan was to try and get some short steps in in between to make it walk along which I've just about achieved, although it doesn't work as well as I'd like it to. Um, I've made a few tweaks to it, including taking out the dampeners I had on the hip actuator and replacing them with solid links. Uh, the main problem I've got at the moment is that the hip uh, servos aren't really strong enough, so they're not really strong enough to move the, th the thighs backwards and forwards, so all that was happening was these were getting compressed and the legs weren't moving. Um, I've now levered them right up to move the thighs, it only takes small steps, um, but it does actually move forwards. So I'll show you what it does, and then we'll discuss the way forward for the modifications I need to make. So the main issues I've got are um, basically around, obviously, sort of stability. So I had these, the idea was I had these um, shock absorbers which will compress, and the aim was the trailing foot, it would compress onto there, and there's a servo in the back, um, which is sort of like an active Achilles tendon um, with the gyro to keep it upright. So um, the problem is the steps are so small that it doesn't get a chance to roll over on its foot. So all that's happening is it's kind of bouncing just on the end of these springs. So I've tried um, winding them up to make them tighter and winding them down to make them less tight until it just falls over forwards. Um, the result is always the same. So really with a, a stride length only that big, I guess that's all that can be expected. Uh, really I sort of need uh, you know, it to roll onto its toes. Um, but I can't do that because the thighs don't move very far, which is why it's taking such small steps. And the reason for that is the servos I've used, even though they're 15 kilogram per centimetre torque servos um, and they're levered up quite tight, uh, if I increase the travel it means moving this rod out so that the uh, servo makes the thigh move further for the equivalent amount of servo move, but obviously that increases the force on the servo. So you basically lose the torque, which means that it hasn't got enough power to push back on its back foot um, and bring the other one forward. Um, basically because the leverage is too large so there's less torque and it can't push it push its whole load on one foot back um, so that's why it's got such small steps and then it just kind of bounces on these springs and the result is what you see so it can just about move forward but it's walking with very flat feet um, so the next plan for Android 12 Rev B is to replace this actuator mechanism with something much stronger so my plan is, instead of having servos driving the thighs, I'm going to build some new actuators. Um, it's something I've been thinking about for a while for robotics. I'm going to build a linear actuator, and the reason I'm showing you a 3D printer is because it has just that. So this 3D printer has a carriage that moves backwards and forwards, and it moves on these steel bars using uh, linear bearings, and all that's driving it is a belt, so you can probably see this turning as I'm moving it. So this is actually a stepper motor. I'll be using a DC motor with some feedback, like a, a slider pot or something like that. Um, the reason for that is if the legs get jammed and the stepper motor misses some steps, it won't know where it is. So I'd need another feedback encoder anyway, so I might as well just make that the feedback and use cheaper DC motors. So the plan is um, to build a very similar mechanism to push the thighs backwards and forwards. There's plenty of space on the thighs for such a mechanism. And have a DC motor geared right up uh, to move the belt and then um, 
Basically, it doesn't matter how far I need to move it, the gearing ratio is always the same and the actuator can carry on as far as you want, rather than having to use higher leverage on a servo to get greater travel and then therefore having less torque. So there's uh, plenty of space to fit um, an actuator with quite a lot of travel in this region, basically from here to here. So we can lose this piece, um, which is currently using this servo to move the thighs and we can put a linear actuator in there instead. And the plan is that um, the actuator will have a microcontroller on it that can read its position with the slide pot and it can also read uh, PWM from the servo controllers that are on here. So effectively the linear actuator can function as if it's a servo and I can still use the same gyros which are run in line with the servo um, in order to have stability. So next time I'm going to be working through building those actuators. I'm not going to build Android 13 because most of this I'm quite happy with the hips and so on. So I'm going to be building Android 12 Rev B and all those parts will be in a different colour plastic so that we can see what the changes are. And if there's a Rev C that will be a different colour again so we can see the evolution of the Android as the development goes. So uh, check out the website and check back for more updates.